All right, so this is a uh, 3D printed carrier, uh, beverage carrier for my Samba, right? The, B the old BWs don't have uh, drink carriers, and so you end up spilling drinks all over. And so anyways, we made these a while ago at EV West. We uh, just, you know, 3D printed this, and you know, I was using it for a while. They're very, it works. They're very good. Uh, except with time, the heat, you know, it weakened it, 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 it bent it. I mean, it was like, you know, it was, uh, it was a particularly hot days. They start melting because, I mean, this is just plastic that is made to melt with heat, right? And eventually it just broke. So today what I'm doing is, bam, I'm designing it in a CAD program here and it's going to be made out of aluminum. And so... Let me show you here how this works. Uh, I decided to put a, uh, a little, an extra joint in there uh, so that I can fold it away because the way that this one was is always there. And that's the reason why it ended up broke or breaking is because, you know, it was in the way and someone knocked it over while they were trying to get in or out of the car or whatever. So... In order to prevent that, then we just added a little joint and then we'll put a little screw and then that screw will uh, be able to put some pressure in between that and uh, the base part, right? So then what you do is uh, that's the ring. That's the part that attaches to the drink. This one over here is the part that is going to have the bolt, All right? That one attaches there. And then it's gonna accept that. And so those two are gonna be together and they're gonna rub. We're gonna put a little plastic uh, washer in there that will then, will create some drag and stuff so that you can, you know, move it. And But it won't move with the drink and stuff, right? So I don't know, this is just, uh, I just order about 10 of these and we'll see how they go. But yeah, definitely BW buses need drink carriers. And this is my version of one, and we're just doing it here on the thing. Now, what else is going on? Let me show you what's going on with my uh, new bus over here that I'm working on. All right, now here in the garage, for just in case there's someone that doesn't know, this right here is my 1957 BW bus Samba, right? Samba, because it's got the windows in the back. Anyway, this is a DIY project. I converted this to electric about seven years ago, and even though it's not finished, uh, the reason why it's not finished is because it's good enough for me to drive around, right? And so I, even though I work from home and I don't really need to commute anywhere, uh, I find that I need a car to get around town, to go to the store, to take the dogs to the park, to, you know, whatever, just regular stuff. And I find that, that whenever I don't have a car, I get really anxious. And so that is one of the reasons why I haven't gotten around to paint this, right? Well, one is because I didn't have the money because painting this, believe it or not, is a lot of money because uh, it's not perfect. It's got a lot, you know, the doors don't match here. The doors, these are brand new doors that I just bought. The old ones were, you know, cockeyed. They were, they were not the greatest in shape. And so it would take a ton of money. I mean, we're talking about something like if I were to have to send it to a shop, it would be ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, right? And so I didn't have that money. Now, now I, I think I can swing that much uh, and I can paint it. Now, the problem is that those shops, the proper shops that will do this bus justice. And the reason why I don't want to do a cheap paint job is because I've invested a lot of time and a lot of my uh, sweat and tears and, you know, uh, effort into making this. So I want to do it justice, give it a, a proper paint job, right? Uh most of those shops have uh, are very very busy and they're giving me a year plus timelines right and so what's happening is that i i want to finish this now by february when i have that show uh, the fully charged show in texas now that only leaves me you know about 12 weeks from now and so i thought can i do it can i do it and i'm like yeah maybe i can do it I've decided that I'm going to go for it. I'm a DIY guy. I never knew, I didn't know how to make an electric car before I started this one, but that didn't stop me. Um, 
I didn't know how to weld before I decided to make this, which was a bus that didn't have any windows into this bus that has 23 windows, right? I mean, here's kind of my, my shoddy work here, uh, welding and stuff. Here's another shot of me welding. Um, I didn't know how to weld. I don't know how to weld. I'm probably terrible at welding, but that doesn't stop me from doing so. I don't know how to do paint jobs. I don't know how to do body work, but that's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna go, whether I finish this, by february i don't know we'll get to see if you know if you know if you know how to do body work and paint and you're watching this video right now let me know hit me up in the comments i if, if you're in california and you would like to come and help me at least advise me how to do it because i'm probably gonna make some mistakes uh let me know do please do comment in the video but that is the challenge the challenge is now to finish this in 12 weeks to basically strip it all down and do the body work, which is, you know, straighten out all the panels, straighten out all the doors, do whatever it needs to do. So if you need to cut the door because it's too big or it's crooked, you know, you just have to do whatever you have to do to make the, the lines, the gap lines correct, uh, you know. And so then once you do that, then you start with the filler. And then after that, then you get to paint, right? But I've been, what I've been doing is, in between, I, you know, because then this is my daily driver. Then this car right here is going to be my daily uh, in the meantime, right? And this is a 67 BW bus. And I've done quite a bit of work to it because when I got it, it was not in the greatest shape. Now, what that has allowed me to do is brushing up on my welding um you know, my 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 welding, because I hadn't done that in probably like five years or six years or something like that. No, yeah, something like that. More than that. It's been seven years. So, um, and so then that allowed me to, you know, get, hopefully get good and make all the beginner mistakes on this bus, you know, and then by the time I get to my bus, then I'm going to be that much better at it, right? So th I'm getting ready to swap all the parts from my bus into this one. And so that should be pretty quick and it should uh allow me to have a car that i can drive around get around town and while i paint my bus all right so that is what i have been doing in the last three weeks i've been working on that bus there so that i can start working on this bus uh and like i said the reason is because i am going to be a uh, fully charged uh live in texas in february so if you guys want to attend that that's a, it's a show that is all about electric cars it's put on by the robert llewellyn and his team are putting together the show they did that back in the uk and it was a great success there was thousands and thousands of people that that uh and a lot of car manufacturers and a lot of people in the industry that uh, attended that show right so in the u.s it's probably going to be bigger than that and there's a whole bunch of us that are going to be there we're going to do you know there's keynote speakers and stuff and that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be talking about electric conversions and that's the reason why i want to not just go and talk about electric conversions but without and show up without an electric car right so my dream is to be able to go in there and speak about my experience my personal experience about electric conversions uh but also show up with the samba the car that started all since this car of course i've done a few other conversions right but those weren't my vehicles and so i don't have access to them but this is this will be and that one will be my second uh, personal one that will do and i want to show up with at least one of these ones right now what else is going on this week i am going to be at the la auto show i'm going to be there to cover this year's electric vehicles right and so uh, if you have anything that you've heard of that I maybe I haven't heard of, right? Uh, do post it in the comments there, share it with me so that I can that I can be aware and I can show it to you. Even though I'm gonna be there and you know I kind of have access to this year's show. Uh, I know there's other YouTubers in there like the team from Now You Know. They're gonna be there and they're gonna have a thing on Friday. I might tag along. So if you want to meet up and want to say hi, uh, yeah. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, I will announce there where I will be at and which days. And so that way you, we meet up and just talk and, you know, do whatever. Um, other than that, thank you for watching this video. And as always, stay busy building stuff. All right. Bye.